Hello, it's Julia with The Tended Life, and we have an absolutely gorgeous, bright and sunny, borderline hot spring day here. So I thought it would be the perfect time to share with you um, what we're drinking today to stay deeply hydrated, which is going to be a lavender lemonade electrolyte drink. This is perfect for those hot days where you just keep keep on chugging water and you're thirsty but it feels like the water is going through you or not really absorbing into your cells and so when you're just needing more and more um, yeah I'm finding that especially with the growing belly and the growing baby inside um, I'm needing a little bit more than just water to deeply hydrate me yeah let's Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, you're gonna make a lavender tea, which I have right here, already made. So you're gonna pour just about boiling water, it can be a little bit under boiling, over about a tablespoon or so. You can adjust to your taste of lavender flowers, little dried or fresh lavender flowers. We're not going for too much of a floral taste here. So I used probably, um, just under a tablespoon for about a cup of water and let that steep for about 10 minutes. Again, you can adjust to your preferences here. Obviously, the longer you steep it, the stronger lavender flavor you'll get. So once, when that is steeping, you'll get all your other ingredients ready. Some honey, lemon, salt, and some regular water. I'm gonna make a jar this size. Me and the fam will be sipping on this all day today. So you pour your honey into your jar or cup of choice. Now I want this to be sweet today, so we're probably using about a tablespoon of, of course, raw honey, local if possible, um, to a cup of liquid. From there, we'll add the tea, and you can let this cool in the fridge or not. We're gonna add ice cubes anyways, so it's really up to you. But if you let it be just a little bit warm, it'll help to dissolve the honey a bit. Now we're gonna give that a good stir. Once that is no longer thick and gooey and is pretty much dissolved, we'll go ahead and add in our water. And again, here it's really important to use high quality water. You want some minerals left in it, so no distilled water. Fresh spring water, if possible, um, just the best you can find. We are lucky enough to have a well here on our property and we filter that through Berkey. All right, from here, we're just gonna squeeze in some lemon. I'm gonna use one whole lemon for this size mason jar. I think this is a four cup mason jar. If you like this a little bit more sour, obviously add more. Our honey, our lavender tea, our clean water, our lemon, and the last thing we'll add is our high quality salt. I'm using just an ancient Celtic here, but just get the best you can find. It is worth it. Definitely no table salt. And this adds in all those good minerals. really makes this drink absorbable by your body. I don't know if absorbable is a word. I think I can do a little bit more lemon. 
Okay, I've got a little bit more lemon in here. Now I'm just going to add some ice cubes, make this nice and cold. I'm going to add a few regular ice cubes. And also a few of these lavender, I mean not lavender, I'm going to add a few of these violet ice cubes as well, just for some fun spring color, make the, make the toddler a little bit more interested in having some of this. These are just beautiful. But actually as soon as I tell her that there's honey involved, <laughs> she will be into it. And there we go. Cheers. Just a quick note on lavender, the particular plant that we use to make this drink. Um, she's just such safe, simple, and accessible medicine. You can find dried lavender flowers for sale pretty much wherever you are. Um, if not in person, then online, on places like Etsy, or check your local herb shop. If you are new to the plants, she is a great initiator just because of her, her simplicity. Again, this is a plant that's safe for even the youngest of kiddos. Um, raw honey is controversial for, for babies under one year old. Uh, if you're a mom, you probably know that. But after that, this whole drink is, is for the whole family. If this seems simple, it's because it is. So remember, you're smart enough to do this. You're capable of using plants as medicine and food and for fun. Um, we're excited to share with you lots more spring foragings and recipes and all things chickens and gardens. So subscribe if you're new here. We have lots of fun ahead. Thanks for being with us on this journey and we're excited to expand with you in this way. <laughs>